Yeah, hi, I'm just doing this uh, video of a Velocet EL3 model from 1921. This bike is 220cc and is a 3 speed. It is a ladies model, uh, hence the step through frame. This bike was actually built up from bits by a previous owner. The frame started out as a DL2 model, so there would have been a kind of like a bath knob gear change round about where the carburetor is. But the, the frame was repaired and the, the engine used and the ladies model is as you see it now. It's virtually museum condition. It runs well. I may try and start it in a few minutes but I'll give you an idea of what it's like. You can see the engine has the outside flywheel. The aluminium Top of the cylinder with a skirt guard, so that the lady that made the skirts on the hot cylinder. It also gave them a nice warm draft up their parts, uh, so keep them happy in the winter if they used it in the winter. You can see the step through frame with the tube across the top of the engine. There aren't that many uh, ladies' models LSX left because a lot of the frames split in the, the kind of piece below the engine, the kind of cradle that the engine sits in. Uh, the bike actually, a lot of novel features on this. There's the oil pump, which is connected to the crankshaft. Uh, so you fill, the, you fill the crankcase up with oil, and when the bike's running it pumps oil in through the big end, which is a long big end that runs from the flywheel right through to the other side of the engine. On the other side of the engine there's an over, what's called an overhung crankshaft which is connected to the piston. You can take all that uh, piece apart on the far side. I'll show you that in a minute. Novel features were the the clutch which is virtually identical to a later Velocet. Uh, it's got the outboard sprockets and it works very well. You've got the rear foot brake got the petrol tank. Sorry for the noisy bird. You've got the Brampton Biflex forks which move up and down and back to front. These are fairly lightweight forks and they're used on quite a few of the early Velocet two strokes. There's a real stopper of a front brake. Huge isn't it? Mm, yeah. You've got the leg shields. Ah, and this is the other side of the engine. You've got the gear change onto the tank. You've got the Brown and Barlow carburetor. This bike has a CAV magneto. Uh, and inside this cover, you unscrew this cover, and there's a plate inside that you can pull out. And there you have the overhead, uh, the overhead, overhung crankshaft in that space. Uh, it's quite a long big end, uh, bronze big end that goes right through to the other side to the flywheel. When it's running the oil is pumped through the big end into the engine and is burnt. See, th three speed gearbox, nice little uh, toolbox. I'll see if I can get it going but I'm not holding my breath so give me a minute or two. I shall put this down somewhere and see what we can do.
No, I'm actually going to stop there because it's probably sometimes it does flood it needs quite a lot of petrol to get this one going but the bike runs well uh, 220cc will probably be good for about 55 miles an hour and when it tested Velocets in the 1920s I think it was an EL3 they tested it they got over 200 miles to the gallon uh, oil consumption you, you vary that to the conditions if you're going up a hill or whatever, or going at fair speed, you put the flow from the oil pump up a bit. But a lovely little bike, not too many about now. Uh, not sure of the original registration of this bike. Uh, when I bought it, it had a Manx, Manx number. So I got the BF registration, which is just what the DVLA tend to hang, hand out now. So that's an EL3. Uh, I will be doing another video to show the other bike I have, which is a model AC3. Cheers just now.